Peter, James. Suffer the little children to come unto me. For of such is the kingdom of God. I love the primary song that says, tell me the stories of Jesus I love to hear. Things I would ask him to tell me if he were here. Scenes by the wayside, tales of the sea, stories of Jesus, tell them to me. Come here after me, and I will make you to become fishers of men. I believe that starting a tradition of telling the stories of Jesus to our children and families is a very special way to keep the Sabbath day holy in our homes. This will surely bring a special spirit to our home and provide our family with examples from the Savior himself. Moments such as when he spat on the ground and having made clay of the spittle, anointed the eyes of the blind man and said unto him, Go, wash in the pool of Siloam. And the man obeyed and washed in came sea. I could visualize hands that had healed, comforted, edified, and blessed, breaking the bread, as Jesus said. This do in remembrance of me. Then he took a cup filled with wine and gave thanks and gave the cup to them, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you. I cried as I visualized Christ eating with them when he declared, Verily I say unto you, that one of you shall betray me. In my mind, I looked at the disciples one by one and saw in their eyes their concern for the Master, whom they loved greatly. It was as if I were sitting there with them watching everything. I felt an intense pain in my heart, full of grief and sorrow for what he was about to experience for me. My soul was filled by an overwhelming desire to be a better person. In repentance and sorrow, I fervently wished to be able to dry and avoid the spilling of at least a few drops of his blood shed in Gethsemane. I then pondered about the sacrament we partake every week in remembrance of Him. While doing so, I meditated upon each word of the blessing on the bread and the water. I deeply reflected on the words, and always remember Him in the blessing on the bread, and that they do always remember Him in the blessing on the water. I meditated on what it means to always remember Him. To me, it means to remember His humble birth in a manger in Bethlehem of Judea. And when, even as a 12-year-old boy, He taught and preached to the doctors in the temple. And He shall turn the hearts of the fathers to the children, and the hearts of the children to their fathers. To remember when he went aside privately into a desert to prepare for his mortal ministry. And when he was taken to Pilate and to Herod for trial. And when he was humiliated, buffeted, spat upon, smote, and scourged with a whip that tore his flesh, and when a crown of thorns was brutally put upon his head. 
to remember that he had to carry his own cross to Golgotha and that he was nailed to the cross there, suffering every physical and spiritual pain. And when at the cross, with his bowels full of charity, he looked at those who crucified him and raised his eyes to heaven, pleading, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. To remember when he, knowing he had fulfilled his mission of saving all mankind, gave up his spirit into the hands of his Father, our Father. It is finished. To remember his resurrection, which ensures our own resurrection, and the possibility to live beside him for all eternity, dependent on our choices. I love the Sabbath, the sacrament, and what it means. I love the Savior with all my soul. <laughs>